Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photo Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to be covering the uh, good old Mac Photos. Uh, a lot of people have uh, picked up Mac Photos as their preferred uh, editing software and cataloging software uh, because it's so friendly and so easy to use. And today I'm going to show you some tricks and tips on how to make it even better uh, for your organizing of your photos, finding your photos, etc., etc. Um, so I'm here in a uh, photos library, and we've got a variety of pictures here from different locations, and uh, I want to try to organize them. And so some of these methods you may know, some of them you may not know. But let's deal with the most common thing. Well, people will say, okay, I want to make an album. Okay, that's a good idea. So we'll come up to albums, and we'll hit the little plus sign. And then we're given a choice. Do we make an album, or do we make a smart album? And so I'll start off with just saying we'll make an album. And that means it's a stupid album. It means we have to put the pictures in it. That's what that means. Uh, it won't pick any, you know, smart objects. Uh, smart albums put the photos in there for you um, So we're gonna call this one. Let's say Hawaii Okay, so we'll make a album for Hawaii and Maybe we'll make another album uh, Arches National Park And uh, that's enough for demonstration here so we have two albums created and they're both empty. When we click on them, we don't see any contents of them. So it's perfect. So we'll come back up to the library and we have our photos. And so normally we would see a photo and say, okay, this is, this is Hawaii. And then we could click and drag it into the Hawaii album. And then we would do the same thing there and we would continue on doing this now works just fine so if we go to the Hawaii thing uh, there are the three photos that we put in the album and uh, so we're, we're going right along but the problem is when you start getting hundreds and thousands of photos and you're in your library here and you go oh here's another Hawaii photo did I put that in the catalog already I can't remember and so I wind up either putting duplicates into an album or I miss photos that I thought I put in an album or didn't put in an album. I don't know which ones are in the albums and which one don't. So you got to imagine this on a scale of hundreds of photos or thousands of photos, right? So how do we solve this problem? Well, we need to know which, out, which of these photos, okay, are not in albums that makes sense right because if it's not in an album then we know we need to catalog it well that's where smart uh, albums come into so we're going to come back up to the the albums and we're going to hit the plus key and this time instead of an album we're going to collect a smart album and so i'm going to call this one not in album And I'm going to pull down on album. This is the criteria. It has to meet this criteria, whatever I put in here, to be put photos in it. Remember, smart objects automatically put photos in it. Is not. So an album is not in an album in any album. So in English, this means any photos that are not in an album are going to be there and you can see right there we got 52 matches already that are pictures that are not in albums so the first row of the first three photos we know we put them in as uh pictures okay and so they're already in an album so they should disappear and leave us with this so let's try it we hit okay okay and wow all changed and those three pictures we had were gone. So let's try it. So now we're in the not in album. So I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to drag it to Hawaii. 
And look at that, it disappears. And this is Hawaii. So now, as I'm working, I can come to this Not An Album uh, album, and as I'm cataloging and organizing my photos, it's happening all the time. Now, I can turn around and select multiple photos at once. And say, these are all Hawaii here. There's the lava. And I'm, I'm ready to go back to Hawaii again. And I'll select a whole bunch there and I'll just drop them in there. And you'll see we're down to 35 photos. And we just keep working this way. Selecting photos that we know are Hawaii. That's arches. Okay. And I think that's pretty good. So now I'll just drag these and drop them in Hawaii. And now we're down to 31 photos. And so you get the idea. Is We've made an intelligent album to show us which photos still need to be cataloged, which need to be put into albums. So this is a great little tool for you to work with. Okay? So that's the tip for this week. Now I'm going to give you a bonus one that may blow people's brains uh, with photos because people just don't give photos the credit that it needs. It's actually a very powerful program. But let's say... Uh, uh, I'm a professional photographer and I have my vacation photos and my family photos and I have some of my commercial work in the same library. That doesn't make any sense, does it? I want to keep them separate. So wouldn't it be great if I could make separate catalogs or libraries? Okay, and a lot of people don't know this, but photos actually allows you to have multiple libraries. So you can keep your photos completely separate from each other. And I recommend everybody do it if you have a need of keeping some works uh, separate from others. Okay? So we're back here in all albums. And you can see these are all the photos that are here. And we're back up. But they all now live in albums. Okay? We don't have any in Arches. But what if I wanted to make a whole different catalog library? All right. So I'm going to shut down photos. All right. So now, when I'm in photos, I need you to turn around and hover over the photos icon. And I want you to hold the option key down while you click. When you do that, it's going to open up and offer you a list of libraries that you have. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of libraries uh, in my Photos app. And these all are specific to my needs. I have one for commercial shoots. So uh, I can just simply switch over to commercial shoots. And there we are. Now I'm in my commercial library, which is a total different set of, uh, of photographs. Okay? So let me close this again. And again, all you need to do to open up a new library is just hover over the icon, hold the option key down, you click, and it opens up and says, you want a new library? Just hit Create New. And then give it a name. And I can go, uh, we'll call this one Demo. Uh, of course, you would give yours a better name, Demo 2. And it's going into the Pictures folders. And bingo bangle, now we are in a completely blank library. And we didn't lose our other photos. They're still in their own libraries. Okay, so you could switch back and forth between different libraries at will. Okay, it's a nice way to keep a, a defined separation when you have a need to separate certain photos from certain photos. Okay, so that's it. That's your bonus tip for this week. Okay, so all you need to do is hold the uh, option key down when you attempt to open the app and it'll prompt you to select your uh, photo library. Again, I'll demonstrate. Click on this, hold the option key, and it'll say, which library you want to work with? And 
I can turn around and switch back to my uh, other libraries. I can hear, here's the demo one I was using for today. And we're back into this library. Okay, a lot of people don't even know this uh, feature exists. So there you go. So today we've taught you how to do a smart object, a smart album that'll keep you when you're working on organizing your photos, it'll keep a running thing and this will live update as you work on your library. So if I turn around and I select all these, uh, do, 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 do. actually Yosemite. Yeah. Let's just do arches. Arches. So I select the arches and then I just turn around and I drag and drop them into the Arches album. And you see I'm down to 25. And then I could do the same thing for as many al albums as I want to do. It's a real time saver. It's a nice way to be organized. Plus, now you know you can have more than one library in iPhoto. A lot of people don't know that. All right, guys. Till next week, you guys take care.